Have you ever wondered about the potential of our body's own defense system in the fight against cancer? Monoclonal antibodies, or MABs, take center stage in this fascinating exploration. These are laboratory-produced molecules that are engineered to function as substitute antibodies that can restore, enhance, or mimic the immune system's attack on cancer cells. Now, let's delve into a subset of these MABs, known as naked monoclonal antibodies. These are MABs in their purest form without any drug or radioactive material attached. They're the unsung heroes, the most common type of MABs used in cancer treatment. Their main role? To attach to antigens or specific proteins on cancer cells. Some even bind to antigens on non-cancerous cells or free-floating proteins. This action makes cancer cells more visible to the immune system, marking them for destruction. Understanding these naked warriors is key to appreciating their role in cancer therapy. So, let's dive deeper into the world of these microscopic defenders. So, what exactly is the role of these naked monoclonal antibodies in fighting cancer? Well, let's dive into the nitty-gritty of these microscopic warriors. Naked monoclonal antibodies, or MABs, are so named not because they're shy, but because they do not have a drug or radioactive agent attached to them. They're the most common types of MABs used in cancer treatment, and they have a unique way of going about their job. Imagine a game of tag, where the person who is it has to tag all the other players. Now, in this game, our naked MABs are like the person who is it. They attach to specific proteins or antigens on cancer cells, non-cancerous cells, or even free-floating proteins. This attachment acts as a marker, telling the body's immune system, hey, here's a rogue cell, take it down. Take, for instance, alemtuzumab, commercially known as Campath Registered Trademark, which is used for treating chronic lymphocytic leukemia. This MAB binds to the CD52 antigen found on lymphocytes, including leukemic cells. Like a beacon, it attracts immune cells to these marked cells, leading to their destruction. But that's not all they do. Some naked MABs also give a boost to the immune response by targeting what we call immune system checkpoints. These checkpoints usually keep the immune response in check, preventing it from going overboard. However, in the presence of cancer, we need all the help we can get. So these MABs inhibit these checkpoints, allowing for a more robust immune response against the cancer cells. Now let's consider Trastuzumab, or Herceptin, which is designed to block the HIA2 protein found in breast and stomach cancer cells. This protein, if left unchecked, can facilitate the growth and spread of these cancer cells. Trastuzumab comes in and attaches to these proteins, blocking their activation and thus stopping the cancer cells in their tracks. So, while they may be naked, these monoclonal antibodies are anything but defenseless. They are a testament to the power of modern medicine and our growing understanding of the human body's complex systems. These antibodies, though naked, are mighty powerful tools in the medical arsenal against cancer. So let's take a moment to recap the crucial points about these naked warriors in our fight against cancer. Naked monoclonal antibodies, the most common type used in cancer treatment, operate without any drug or radioactive agent attached. They serve two primary functions. First, they can boost the immune response against cancer cells, adhering to these cells and marking them for destruction by our body's immune systems. Alemtuzumab, for example, binds to the CD52 antigen found on lymphocytes, attracting immune cells to destroy them. Secondly, naked monoclonal antibodies can block cancer cell growth by attaching to and obstructing the antigens on these cells. Consider Trastuzumab, designed against the HR2 protein of breast and stomach cancer, which inhibits their activation and thus stunts their growth. With these naked monoclonal antibodies, we're harnessing the power of our own immune system to fight cancer. Remarkable, isn't it?